From the beginning of his ministry until the present, George D. Crenshaw has been both committed and convinced that in all things, the Paulian admonition to the church in Colossae is appropriate. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. With this in mind, this young preacher set out on his maiden pastoral voyage serving the people of the Duncan Chapel AME Zion Church in Calcis, Alabama. It was here that Crenshaw was immersed in the fundamentals of pastoral leadership, worship, and liturgy, and all other pastoral and administrative skills needed. After serving Duncan Chapel for a brief period, he was sent to St. Mark's Temple AME Zion Church. Here, Crenshaw became acclimated with dynamics of social justice while simultaneously earning his degree from Indiana University in Bloomington. He made history in Zion Methodism with the appointment of presiding elder of the Indianapolis District of the Indiana Conference. To date, Crenshaw remains the youngest person at age 25 to hold such distinction and office in Zion history. While matriculating at Hood Seminary, he was appointed presiding elder in the Sherrod Bennettsville District of the PD Annual Conference. Crenshaw was appointed pastor of Robinson AME Zion Church, where membership grew from 40 to 400 under his leadership. Then the Lord impressed upon him to plant and found the Victory Tabernacle AME Zion Church. This church was started with 50 seed members. He currently serves at Shaw Temple. During his administration, Shaw Temple has seen exponential growth where membership has grown from 1,250 members to over 3,000. The infrastructure of Shaw Temple has been transformed through the visionary unction of this servant. Preaching, administration, and teaching founded upon a tradition of prayer, seeking, and wisdom is what constitutes George D. Crenshaw, the preacher and servant leader. Love, family devotion, and commitment to humanity is what constitutes George D. Crenshaw as the man. Social justice being evident in physical presence and throughout the processes of the organizations that are yet at work seeking the cultural and spiritual redemption of the souls of black folk. In short, Crenshaw identifies with the testimony of John when he declared, he himself was not the light, he came only as a witness to the light. <laughs>